Allen Iverson, one of the best guards the league has ever seen for his height at just six foot. Now look, some of the things he's accomplished have been crazy. He's won MVP, All-Star, and everything. You almost can name it. He's done almost everything in the book. And this is one of his most iconic shots right here, stepping over Ty Lue. Now look, he's done almost everything, like I said, but won an NBA championship. Now today, we're going to try to change that. And we're also going to tone things and change things a little bit different too. Now you feel me? Now look man, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel for different videos like this man. Yes, you feel me? Today we will be changing AI's height from 6 foot to 6 9. Now by a lot of his peers, they always say oh, if AI was taller, he would be a better player. But today we're going to put that theory to the test. Most people say 6'6". Six, six. I said, now nah, let's go 6'9", you know. Let's really bump it up. What would happen if him and Brian was the same height? Hey, AI 6'9", in this video, you feel me? We know what Brian can do. But right now, as you can see, we are in the 2003 NBA season. You see, Yao Ming won Defensive Player of the Year. I'm not going to lie. In my league, bro, things get crazy. When I tell you things get crazy, just watch as this video goes on. Like, it's some of the most random and most unexpected things that happen. You see Greg Popovich wins coach of the year, you feel me? He is a good coach, you feel me? That is one of the best coaches, if not the best coach of all time, in some people's appearance. But right now, as you can see, I'm showing the awards, all first NBA team. I didn't say AI on it right here, you feel me? No, we're going to keep on going, you know, Shaq barbecue chicken. You know, Shaq is going to be on there. Stop playing with a pog of salt on the grizzly, you know. All that other stuff, woo de woo, you feel me? Now, Shaq also was on everything else, too, you feel me? Shaq was putting in work. But as you can see, we are in the most important thing the playoffs. Now, as you can see, they are doing their thing in the playoffs. The Sixers do make it to the playoffs, and they end up playing the Supersonics. So we're going to end up skipping a little bit. They win the first game, you feel me? Let's see. Oh, they up 2-0, you feel me? Now let's see what happens next. Now they up 3-0. Can they complete the sweep? Let's find out and see. And they do end up completing the sweep. And as you can see, AI does finally get his ring at 6-9. But, hey, man, look, this changes a lot. If AI was 6-9... As you can see in my mind league, like I said, you see, that boy is tall. You feel me? AI is tall in this game. For right now, you feel me? Them boys do end up winning the championship. And AI is the NBA Finals MVP too. AI was putting in work. For that boy to sweep with the team that he had is crazy in the Finals too. Like, come on, you got to give him his props. But right now, as you can see, he averaged 22 points a game, shooting 50% from the three-point line in a sweep. In a sweep. A sweep is crazy, bro. But right now, as you can see, we are in the 2004 NBA season. D-Way is a rookie of the year. I don't know why, you know, 2K does their things. Or why it's like this, I cannot tell you. I'm going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Some of the players are on some crazy teams in this My League video. So if you don't believe me, just look. Carlos, I don't even know who that is, for real, for real. Papa Bitch ends up winning Coach of the Year again. Now, right now, I'm really just going through awards. You see, T-Mac does win MVP. T-Mac was putting in work in this league. Now, we make the playoffs this time. Now, let's see what happens. <laughs> It's crazy. They end up missing the playoffs. So now we're going to the 2005 season. And T-Mac wins MVP again. Not once, but twice. Ron Artest ends up winning Defensive Player of the Year. Boris Reynolds. I don't even know who that boy is. You feel me? We don't really care about nothing. We don't really care about nothing. We're just looking at the awards just to see who get what. You feel me? T-Mac ends up winning MVP. Like I currently said, that boy was putting in work. T-Mac, if his legacy turned out like this, bro, it would be crazy. I'm telling you, it would be crazy. Now we see him through. Let's see what happens this time. And they end up missing the playoffs again. So now we in the 2006 season, you see. They really not making the playoffs. And I was like, bro, what's really going on? But as you can see, in the 2006 season, KG ends up winning MVP. Chris Paul is rookie of the year for some odd reason. I do not know how. You feel me? 2K. And then 2K things happens in the Mali, and there's nothing you can really do. You feel me? So I was just vibing with it. You feel me? Chris Kamen was most improved player of the year. We're going to 07 season. 
T-Mac wins MVP again. It's like his third MVP, averaging 35 a game. 35? That boy was putting up hard in numbers. Averaging 30. Like, who was on that team? So, T-Mac could average 35. He was putting in work. I'm just steady looking at it. I'm like, bro, where's AI at? For real, for real. So, I just keep on looking and looking. And look, they end up winning a championship. T-Mac was averaging damn near 40 points a game. He was averaging almost 40 points a game in the finals. He was giving them a bucket. It was a generational bucket. Almost. And then we're going to the away season. You feel me? We're just going to keep going on just to see what happened. KD is somehow on the paces. I don't even know how. And he's a rookie of the year. Like, I, I, look, look, look. It is what it is. You feel me? But we're on to the away season. Like I said, Brian won defensive player of the year, too. Brian won MVP and defensive player of the year. And some odd reason, he's on the Nuggets. And D Wade is on the Cavs. Like, my league has a mind of its own, bro. It is crazy. I can't tell you. I'm just, I'm just saying. Have a mind of its own on this game. You feel me? The Magic end up going back to the finals again. And this time, this time, Gilbert Arenas is the MVP. Finals MVP. Putting up 32 points a game. Now we went to the 09 season. Hey, y'all ain't won nothing but one championship. That's all he won. For some reason, Derrick Rose is on the Rockets. It's kind of weird. Brown went defensive player of the year again on the Nuggets. You feel me? This 09 right now. I don't know why 2K. Try to play my boy like AI is not like that no more. I'm steady looking. You see, T Mac is a 99 overall. That means that boy to go in this my league. It is his league for some odd reason in the 09 season. So I just keep on simming on, simming on. And look, the Celtics win this time. And Mike Bibby is the finals. Mike Bibby? Are we Mike Bibby? Are we serious? Like, are, like, come on, 2K. Like, I don't be. Bro, look, 2K have a mind of his own sometimes. So now we're going to the 2010 season. And Kyle Lowry is the 2010 MVP. Kyle Lowry, he, he mean he hooping. He hooping for real, for real. Kyle Lowry, the MVP of the league? With Brian in it? In 2010? Like, what's up, 2K? What's up? You see Curry win Rick Elliott. Yeah, Curry's on the Hawks. Do you know how crazy that would be if Curry actually got drafted to the Hawks? But, hey, man. That's for another day, you feel me? You feel me? Brian wins Defensive Player of the Year again in the 2010 season. So at this point, bro, I'm like, what's really going on? Like, I haven't seen AI. It's supposed to be an AI video, and I ain't seen AI but once, and that was at the beginning. So I just keep on simming and simming and simming and see what happens. And guess what? The Raptors win it. And guess what else happens? Let's see. You feel me? Kyle Lowry ends up winning finals MVP, putting up 26 points a game, shooting 40% from the game. So at this point, I'm like, bro, where's AI at? For real, for real. And I end up seeing AI is on the Bulls. The Bulls? Hey, yo, what the? Like the Bulls? So that means AI left in 07, 08 from according to this. And they ain't even tell nobody. I'm thinking he going to stay on the sixes. That boy said, no, I'm up out of here. And you see, his overall went down to an 87. They got Ricky Rubio, DeMarcus Cousins, whoever her Wood is, Douglas Moore, Corey, whoever, whoever. But it just got everybody. I'm like, bro, what really happened? And why didn't they tell me? I put it on where he shouldn't He shouldn't have got traded. But, hey, in 2K, the players have their own minds. It's nothing you can do. So I'm like, man, look, now I'm trying to see what the Bulls do because AI was supposed to be on my team, but he left. You feel me? And all he won was an MVP, a championship, and a finals MVP. So now we in a 2011 season. John Wall's rookie of the year. Whoever Mark Richards is, you feel me? He is what he is. Bron got like three or four defensive player of the years right now. He he hooping. It ain't even team like this Bron League again. Like, it's crazy. So I end up going to the playoffs, trying to see what the Bulls doing now. Now I got to look out for the Bulls, and guess what? They out already in the first round, and the Pacers end up winning the championship. And KD was hooping. KD averaging 28 points a game, shooting 57, almost 60% from the three-point line. That is a crazy, shooting almost 60%. So then we're going to the 2012 season, you feel me? Brian won MVP, you feel me? Woo, 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 woo. Brian is taking all, he just taking everything, averaging 30, and th averaging 30 points, 30 points a game. It's Brian, you feel me? And D-Wade on the Magic, now he was just on the Heat. He done play for the Cavs, the Heat, now he on the Magic. 
I don't know what's going on. Like, this is just crazy. Now it's a 2012 season. So right now, I'm like, okay, the Bulls ain't even make it. The Sixers not even really doing that. Look, it's like, like they take it. And look, they get eliminated again. So it's like, bro, what's really going on? So now let's see who wins the final since my team not winning. Let's see who wins. The Pacers win again. KD averaging 32 points a game, shooting almost 60% from the three-point line again. Again. So at, at this point in the video, I'm like, so where is AI? So I'm just looking. I'm looking. At this point, I can't find him no more. So what I'm guessing is he got cut or he retired. From 03, from what time he got drafted, from the time I saw this video, from 2003 season to 2012, he got he was either retired or he, he, I think he retired, I'm not gonna lie. But I couldn't even get the footage from him because he traded teams. Like, that's what really pissed me off, for real, for real. Because how I'm gonna get the footage from the dude and he done left and retired, they ain't tell nobody. And then I tried to check in the Mali, could you check and see if they retired already? You can't even do that. I can't check the retirement. I can't see who retired, none of that. I should have really checked for real, for real, but I tried, though. You feel me? It's all right, though. It's all right, though. You feel me? It is what it is. But AI is 6'9". He only wins one ring and one MVP that he already won. But if you like content like this, you feel me? Please like the video up, you feel me? And please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. I'm going to still be dropping new videos like this. is be your boy Greg. Go crazy, and I'm out.